We are the Thread Gremlins. My name is Caroline. I'm Elizabeth. And we're here to talk about our stitching. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've loved watching all of your guys' floss tubes and we're here to join the party. I'm so excited to find out about floss tube. I've been stitching for a really long time, but I didn't know there was a community about it. Um, so it was just kind of a thing that I did with my cousin and in my basement. And I'm really excited to find out that this exists. And I started watching Floss Tube first. Yeah. And became obsessed. And then it grabbed me and here I am. And I've bought all the things. <laughs> it's been so much fun to watch you buy all the things. Like I've, I've really enjoyed that so much. Just like living vicariously through your hauls. Um, yeah. So I will now get to share my hauls with you guys and hopefully... Some stitching. <laughs> um, this is what I'm working on right now. I've gotten this far. This is on cryptic cloth 14. And I am doing the smaller piece from the Quaker Garden. I saw this from all the Stitchy Girls, um, Cam the Stitcher, the Seattle Stitcher. I watch all their videos. So that is what I'm working on right now, and I'm having so much fun. I'm starting with the smaller one because the bigger one looks a little daunting, and I have so many projects that I've already started. So I want to just have something that I can throw in my purse and something smaller to carry around with me. What are you working on? Um, I started one today. Um, this is The Golden Bee by Tracy Stitch. Um, I just... I'm barely into it, but I love this fabric so much. This is a 32 count, 100% um, organic hemp by Jackson Fiber Arts. The colors in it are just gorgeous. And so it's gonna have this golden bee on it. Um, the bee will be on a circular pattern, so you'll see the fabric. And I think what I'm, what I'm enjoying the most about it is that this fabric is really kind of sprungy and I'm getting really beautiful stitch definition. The stitches are kind of coming up almost raised a little bit. Um, and I could just stare at those greens for hours. It's so beautiful. I know. You just brought this out. I haven't actually looked at this yet. Yeah. It's very tiny. It's very pretty. It's still, it's 30, 32. So it could be tinier. Have you shown, have you shown the pattern? Oh, no. Um, you know what? I don't have it in color, so we should probably see if we can add that later, but because the colors are so beautiful. Um, but that's what the pattern looks like. And so it's all in like these kind of muted gold tones. Um, and I'm super excited by it. When I went and bought the floss, it was definitely like a lot of brown. Um, but I think that's kind of one of the magical things about pulling out the colors like that and look at the palette and then all that brown kind of transforms into something else when you get it all stitched up. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, she asked me to do this one with her and I looked at the chart and the confetti. It, it's a very dense chart. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's full coverage. It'll be lovely when it's done um, and about a 12 inch circle. So. It's gonna be gorgeous. I, I could never. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to show next? What have you got? Um, let's start with the beginning. Okay. Okay. So we went. Excuse me. We went on a girls' weekend, and we decided to bring a stitch with us that we could work on together. We've done this before. We've brought a book. We read. We started reading *The Throne of Glass* together. So good. On the last trip. Yeah, we and it, we blasted through that entire series in like three months too. I was very proud of us. It was very good. Yeah, it was an I, intense, intense reading moment. Anyways, we tend to start a big project on one of these girls trips. It seems to be the case. So we decided to start another big project. And it was the Stitch Along from Lola. What's her name? Lola Crow. Lola Crow. Yeah. One of her saws that she did, was it last year? Um, I think so, Greenhouse of Oddities. Greenhouse of Oddities. So we started that together. Oh, it was so perfect too. We went and we were at the hot springs and the moon was full and it was at night and this is like a little bit of a witchy pattern and it was just exactly, it was, it was perfect. It, was, it perfect. was super fun and it was a great time to just sit for hours and stitch and we did. Yeah. We did. So this is how far I got on mine and I did this on a 16 count Ada that I just got on Amazon because I was in a pinch and I had to grab it and you know what I hate it so much 
but this was my first project. This this is what I started on. It was a big first project <laughs> for cross stitch. Um, my first project was a Dimensions Patchwork Cow. It was about this big. I got the whole thing stitched, went to put in the head, and the head was like two inches to the yeah. left of the body. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I did cross stitch as a child. And it was children's cross stitch but this was my first real chart that I've ever done and so I think I did pretty good I think you did great honestly I think I did really good for my first and my back is not psycho I mean it's good it's good I mean I I have painted and crafted my whole life so this wasn't like I don't know what to do like I knew what I was doing ish but um I Felt like I was stitching on a paper bag from Trader Joe's. I, it definitely feels like it's got it's a synthetic. I wouldn't I wouldn't take an iron to that. Yeah. I could barely get my needle through. It made a terrible sound. It went <laughs> every time I put it through. Um, so it was not my favorite experience. I am planning on finishing it, except for uh, my count is very off somehow on this cage I wish I would have finished the whole greenhouse frame like you were supposed to um before I started doing anything but it wasn't fair because Elizabeth started in the center and she got to do the pretty flower yeah so I did mine on a 28 count natural linen um I'll hold it up so you can see a little bit better the shading on the corpse flower is so beautiful. It's so it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And it was one of those really satisfying stitches where you sort of started from the outside. And then as you're, as you're going in, um, it goes from just like an amorphous blob to all of a sudden this beautifully defined flower. Um, super, super satisfying. And, and I just couldn't get over the colors. And then I got stuck up in this tree. We got all the way, we were up way far up in the mountains. Um, and we found out that I was missing a color, and Caroline was also missing the same color. So it uh, got called Meltdown Brown for Meltdown the rest of the- Meltdown Brown was missing. Was missing, and I definitely had a moment where I was like, we could get in the car, and it's only two hours to the closest, th like, craft store. There was no way. There was no way we were leaving. But yes, it was a little bit of a hectic internal struggle yeah. seeing Meltdown Brown. So, um, that's all that's missing kind of in the trunk of this tree is that brown. I just need to go through and put it in. Yeah. So I will continue this at another point. I will work through my trash bag and I will get it done at some point. I know she has the new cell coming out, the... The Deadly Aquarium. Deadly Aquarium, mm. which I do not think I'm going to do because I saw that it also needed like four skeins of black for an outline and I can't. <laughs> I can't do it again. The outline was too much for me. I'm not there for it. I, but I can't wait to see it. And I know you're planning, I think, on doing it. I'm hoping to do it. I don't know. I've got so many things I'm doing right now. I know. Um, me too. But I'll probably do it. I mean, no, honestly. Like, I mean, I love this pattern so much. Um, I feel like it's just been really thoughtfully charted. Mm -hmm. And... It's beautiful. The butterflies are beautiful. Yeah, the better. And the little teaser with the tentacles. I love a tentacle. I, know. I love a tentacle so much. I love a tentacle. So, who knows? We might do it. Or, I think she probably might do it. I can't wait to watch. Yeah, I'll probably do it. There's a couple other cells that I want to do. So, we'll see. Um, the next one I'm going to show you guys is 100 Circles by The Steady Thread. Um, I did it on a 28 count white Jobelin. Um, by Welsh Imports, and I got this uh, pattern recommended by my cousin. It's actually a black work pattern. Um, I'll hold it up. It's beautiful and it's so fun. Each one of these little circles, you know you're meant to do it uh, one circle a day. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's so pretty. And um, each one takes me about a half an hour to do, which is really quite a lovely length for, um, for a project. Um, kind of knock one out while you watch, watch a single episode of a show. Um, all the little beautiful circles. It's been fun to buy the floss for it and to get just so many colors. I had mixed feelings about this fabric. It's 25% um, rayon, so it's got some synthetic to it. I usually don't like to do any kind of crafting with synthetics. Um, I find that if I'm going to be holding something in my hands for hundreds of hours, that it needs to feel really good on my skin. Um, but also with this black work pattern, I wanted something really, really, really smooth. Um, and you get 
I just think you get smoother, a smoother surface with the synthetic. So this one is 75% uh, cotton, 25% rayon. Um, it's got actually a nice strength to it. And I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would. The one thing that has been interesting about this um, project, so I was reading the directions and it says, you know, it's very difficult to do the yellow on white, so don't get discouraged. And of course I was like, I can do the yellow. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Um, I say that these took me a half an hour, not this one. This is like two hours. Um, the yellow? Yeah, because I just couldn't see it. I just couldn't see it. I mean, it was like, yeah. I, I went out and bought new lamps. I bought new lamps. Mm, that's that's a good fix. That sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then the other colors I've really been enjoying. So there's two more spots of yellow. And kind of my, my plan on this one is each time I do a session to make myself do one of the yellow dots until they're done. This thing's going to be huge, too. It's like rainbow. It's 100. And it's 100. Yeah, they're variegated. So it'll be pretty big by the time it's done. Um, but, but very, very lovely. It is really so. pretty. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, and I think... I, I know that for me, it, I, I enjoy patterns more where they've got like small chunks and you can do something and feel like you've got a little win. Um, I say after holding up the golden honeybee. Yeah, we, you always need a win. Um, but I'm really enjoying this one. So, and I think it's neat to see all of the different um, black work, black work fill patterns too. It's just a lot you can do with those. Yeah, super cool. Let's see, my next one, let's see, oh, what this yours? No, it's okay. Um, we did think this one together too. Oh, I love this one. Oh, if I can find the pattern. Maybe you have it. Uh, it's my notebook. But I don't have it in color and the color is everything for this one. I have yeah, it. You got it. I have it. Okay, this is from Flossy Fox Shop and it's called Night Magic. Don't look at that. <laughs> this is. Have you got the cover? I don't. I don't think I printed out the cover. I've got the cover. I just don't have it in color. It's like a gorgeous pixel art style. This pattern is like 8-bit um, Lisa Frank. 8-bit mm -hmm. Lisa Frank if she was planning out her Dungeons & Dragons campaign. Yes. And it's so much fun. It instantly grabbed me. I had to have it. I downloaded it immediately after seeing it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So this is, let's see. You have the dragon. I started with the dragon. It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And then this is how far I got. And I was so excited because I thought this was a cloud. And then when I backed away, finally, I was like, a wyvern! It's a wyvern! It's so cute! And all the little details are so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I love that she did the color conversion to make it a blonde, too. So when, oh, we, yeah. when we finish, I'm going to keep the brunette yeah, for my little blonde. girl. And so then we'll have matching cross stitches with a blonde and brunette. Mm, and so I did, I did this the wrong way. Did I not? What do you mean the wrong way? Well, I thought maybe I was supposed to do it this way. No, no, it's definitely, it's definitely it portrait. Yeah. Oh, good. Portrait. Don't worry. You're good. You're good. And you're I was good. like, oh god, the, did I make another Franken no, no, stitch? No, the midpoint is like the neck on the dragon right here, and you've got him right there, right in oh the middle. Oh my god, I did it you're right. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. <gasps> good job. <That's> amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I finished, I, I decided I was going to do the dragon, then I was going to move on to the next thing, so that I was leaving when I was still enjoying it. And this was really hard to set down. It was really hard to set down. Yeah, so fun. Yeah. Um, all those colors. So, yeah, that was a great one. Still working on that. My next one, I don't have another picture of it either, but it is the... I'll, I'll put a picture here. It is the... Always. 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 It is the Lesbian Pride Tapestry by D20 Stitches. I think it was a collab with someone else. Uh, Uncanny Carrie. Yeah, they did a collaboration for the lesbians in your life. And it's a unicorn. And I'm so excited about it. And I did it for my daughter, who's five. She doesn't need to know about the lesbian situation. <laughs> but... I mean, it's just, a unicorn! She's so into My Little Pony. 
She does. Which, yeah. I know, which is so kind of annoying because I told her it's a unicorn. And she was like, can you do it? But can you do it without the horn? And I was like... No. Are you doing it? Are you leaving the horn out? I haven't decided. I think she'll forget about it. Anyways, so... Okay. This is the Frankencorn, anyways. This is my, my favorite project that you've got going. Okay, I love so... This. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so what happened, <laughs> what happened was I did, I, this goes this way, right? Okay, well, I stitched it this way, and I did it right in the middle of this fabric, which is Fiber on the Whim, 14 Count Ada. Oh, it's so in beautiful. Kunzite. Yeah, it's this like delicate purple with little bits of like like white in it. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. And the way that the where I put it, there was no frogging it out. It would have ruined the whole piece. So it was either throw away this whole piece of Ada or cut it out. Well, this is what I thought. Cut it out and then stitch it where it's supposed to go and then continue... My Do you hear that sound? Oh, Davy. Oh no. Um. So I finally got out of the stitching on this, and so I feel like I can finally put this down for a second, and then continue back onto normal fabric. But it was so hard to get through. So you know how people say like it's two over one. Well, this was two over one over two pieces of canvas so it was a two over one over two and it was so hard to stitch through i mean i don't really know how to show you the back but it's a disaster but i think i saved it and i think when it's done when i have this beautiful unicorn with no horn <laughs> i love that you did that honestly like i would never do that i would be like well now it's time to get a needle out and just meticulously rip the entire thing There's and then no put it in a box and not look at it for five years. There's no way. And I, you just kept doing it and I think that's so cool. And you have such a creative way of doing it as well. I don't know. I love the idea of a Frankencorn. I think that's really fun. Thank you. It's yeah. for the lesbians. Um, let's see. I've got two more that I worked on this last week. Um, this one is Cranberry and Pine. It's a Christmas stocking. I am very recently a new aunt. Um, so this is by Karen Kluba, and it's Rosewood Manor. And it's got these beautiful little Christmas trees. My sister picked it out. Um, I was a little salty about it at first because it's not something that I would normally do. Um, it makes me really nervous to have these big gaps between objects where I have to be counting. Um, I am somebody who will count it, count it five times, count it another five times, take a piece of scrap thread, throw all of the little like stitches in behind and baste it, and then still be like, maybe I should put it in a box until I feel ready to do this. Um, but I think it's going really well. Um, I've got 10 little Christmas trees. I decided that was a nice chunk to sort of do before I moved on. Um, it's got all of these really lovely tonal greens. So I'm doing it in the recommended DMC. So it's like 500, 501, 502, 503. Um, and then it'll have tons of tiny little red beads. When it's oh, really? Finished. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beaded. Do you see like on the little tree, all the gaps in between the, the, the layers? Each one of those gets a bead. And oh almost gosh. all the trees, they're outlined in beads as well. Um, and they're very pretty. I've got them in one of my boxes here. I'll show them to you. They are like a slightly metallic red bead. Cute. And that's where the cranberry comes from, the cranberry and pines. Oh my goodness. I know, they're like little cranberries. So I hope that baby Luca likes it. Um, he's 
four months six months six Ooh. months and so probably what he'd like most is a banana but he's gonna love it eventually he'll love it he'll love it um my experience in stitching on this one has been it's been pretty fun i'm doing it on um a 28 count platinum cashew linen it's got some really nice variations in the color i don't know if you'll be able to see them because they're very subtle uh but it's it's very pretty it's a little schlubby um, but I think that actually works really well with this design. It's not a super um, tight, exact, like there's nothing geometric about it. Well, I mean, it's ge the triangles, but it's not got that like really um, precise look to it the same way that like the 100 circles does. So the slight variation in the sizes isn't bothering me. Um, I think it's going to be lovely. I have to figure out how to line it and sew it. Oh. Um, but I've got a cousin that has a sewing machine and she makes her own jeans. So probably oh, she will be able to do it. She'll be able to whip that up, no problem. Yeah. Um, do you have another one you want to show? I do. Okay, I do. do. I, have, I have too many. Okay, so right now I'm also working on, let me get the name of this one. It's an L Forest one. It's one of their free downloads, which is so cool that they do that. It is so cool that they do that. <sighs> Love it. I... When I found that out, I definitely lost um, a good two hours. I know, me too. Yeah, we were almost late to school. Oh my god, I know. I don't think the name is on here, but I think it's like Cats on Parade or Here Come the Cats. I'll have to find it and put it in a picture. Yeah. yeah. It's super cool. It's a bunch of cats running around a tree, and I'm doing this because we just... Adopted two kitties. I know. Cat news. Cat news. Big cat news. <laughs> Big cat news. Big and cat news. I adopted a three-year-old gray kitty. And I also adopted a, we think, one-year-old, what is it, tortoiseshell, maybe? Yeah, tortoiseshell. Her name's Persephone. And then the boy's name is Dave. Dave is my son's cat and Persephone is my daughter's cat. I'm stealing both of them though. They're, they're, they're supposed to be for them. Um, um, <laughs> Dave is the best snuggler too. Dave is so snuggly. He's so snuggly. And he has a peg leg because he got in a bunch of cat fights because he was a stray. And so he had a bunch of like stuff going on and abscesses and so one of his legs is shaved. He has like a shaved top of his head and side of his face and he just had a really It's just a kitty undercut. Hard hard start. Yeah. But now he is just king of cuddles and I'm just loving it and my son loves him and they are having so much fun and it's bringing so much joy to our house. Snuggling up on his velvet blanket. I know. We haven't had a pet in a while. We had a corgi and he passed away about two years ago now. And it was time. Yeah. It was time. And I was ready to be a cat house again. I miss being a cat house. Anyways, this is for them. And I had to frog that first tree out already because I just assumed it was brown. So I did this whole tree in brown and then read the chart which you're supposed to do and realized it was white i also don't mark my charts it's bananas she just she just i eyeball it she eyeballs it she also doesn't look at the picture when she does jigsaw puzzles i don't i think it's cheating you can't look you can't look when we do jigsaw puzzles together i'm sitting there looking at the box and caroline is like don't let me see it i don't want to see it i just feel like if you can't do it Without, with just like vibes. <laughs> <laughs> just puzzle vibes? Puzzle vibes. You just gotta feel the puzzle. You gotta feel the vibes. You gotta think about it. Same with cross stitch. I do not recommend it. But there are vibes and you just gotta follow them sometimes. And sometimes it, it, it doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. And that's most of the time. And that's Frankencorn and, and a lot of my other problems in life. I don't but know. But when you live by vibes, you know, you just live by vibes. I don't know. I love that it's, uh, you end up with some really creative and interesting projects, though, and they end up really different. Mm. I, that's one of the things that I feel is a shortcoming in my stitching sometimes, is that what I make looks like the picture. It looks like the picture. It doesn't look necessarily like my work. Mm. It looks like the chart. Um, and there's yeah, but like, they're beautiful. Thank you. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of pleasure in that precision. Yes. 
Precision um, is not my game. No. It's but fine. that's why we have Elizabeth. Yeah. I will. <laughs> the next one I'm going to show you. This is the last one that I did this this gorgeous week. Um, my father-in-law bought this for me as a kit a couple years ago. I forgot about it. And then I was cleaning up my bedroom and thought I should start it. Um, it's called Herb Panel. It's by Thea Govener. It's so delicate. And it's so, so delicate. Pretty. It's very pretty. Um, it's got these really beautiful organic shapes and delicate colors. And I'll show you. I worked on it for about a week. Um, normally I like to take one kind of chunk or goal, stitch through that and go on to the next thing. And with this pattern, I felt like I needed to start with this thistle in the center to anchor it so that everything else could be moved around it. Um, so I did, and it took forever. Uh, it's on 18 count, Ida. Look at it, it's so pretty! And <laughs> it's done with one strand. Um, I, at first, this is my first time doing something with one strand. Um, and at first it drove me a little bit nuts because I like to have really complete coverage. And if you look in here, you can just see, especially in those dark patterns where you can see the, the fabric through. Um, but now that I'm seeing it, I'm stepping back, I'm not, you know, looking at it from three inches away. I feel like it gives it this beautiful, very delicate, lacy look. Um, and I'm in love with it. I, I want to do more tiny, tiny stitches with one strand. I think that that's... That's my next thing I want to get into. Um, in terms of this as a kit, I have one really big criticism of it. Let me grab the floss to show you. And that is that it's all DMC, but they don't tell you, um, give you, it's all done by symbols. They don't give you any numbers. And a lot of these colors are very, very, very close to each other. If you take a look like um, so you see it particularly in some of the pinks, like this is two separate, two separate colors, right? You can't even tell that's two strands. Mm. Um, and since you have limited supplies, if you make a mistake and you have to replace it, I don't know what I would just have to take like my one little single strand, oh, three inch God. long fragment to Michael's and like a really strong flashlight and... <laughs> and prayer <laughs> and hope that I could fix it. Um, and so that's, it's a little nerve wracking. it would kill you. It would kill no, me. It would, it would kill, kill me. you. It would, it would, um, I would not be okay. Yeah. I would probably buy, death, buy every thread. Yeah. No, it's it would over. be, this has been difficult for me. <laughs> um, but you know, on the positive side, it's beautiful. And all of those little tonal variations, um, I'll show you again, the thistle, one of the reasons that flower is so beautiful, there's eight different shades of pink in that flower. And that makes it difficult to stitch because you can't see what you've done. Sometimes you can't tell, you know, if you've put in a mistake. And there are three mistakes that I did not correct. Um, I'm not going to point them all out, but they're all, they're all <laughs> by like... The, by the next one, she'll be pointing out all of her mistakes. Right here. Actually, I will show... <laughs> She's being coy. They're so small, I'm not even sure you could see them. Like, <laughs> because what they are is like places like where it's two almost identical tones of green and I've just switched two of the pixels. Oh. Um, and it was like, I, I looked at them and I was like, this is a mistake that I see that no one else will see. No. <laughs> is it worth, and I'm doing it, I'm doing it obviously cross country and so I'm doing like an entire tone of green as I go through and that's, the counting. I would, the counting oh is God. what's been intense about this. Um, and a lot of times I'll get like three hours in on a tone, three hours in on the next tone, two hours in, and then I'll notice that there's a problem between the third and first. And the way that I'm stitching it, um, I would probably have to undo the second one as well. So I'm like, is it, is it worth getting out the scissors and like removing, you know, a two by two inch portion of this? Um, well, I'm proud of you Thank for you. not taking it out. It's it's pretty big personal growth, actually, it's big for growth, me to leave big it. Growth. Um, and I can show you my back because I'm really pleased with how this has come out too. Yeah, I, I think can't it's really nice. tell the back from the front yes, with her stitching. You can. It's amazing. I, She's so talented. I well, talented or picky. 
sometimes there's not that much of a difference, I guess. No, there's not. And that's fine. Um, I think, yeah, I love a messy back, but I can't handle it because I find that it makes it more difficult to correct mistakes. That's, that's just me. Let's see. So. So, our next project, we are going to start this, we got what? Six days now? I think so. In six days, we are going to be starting. I bought this, what, last summer? As her first project. This was going to be her first project. <laughs> so we, we were at the pool. We'd, we've got um, kids the same age. We dropped the kids out. The kids are, are swimming in the pool. And I was working on my big Christmas gift sampler, which it's I didn't huge. work on this She'll last bring week. It, oh, but I'll show it. It's, al it's almost done. I did that thing where I stitched on it diligently for an entire year. It's huge. full coverage. It's like this big. It's on 16 count. And I, it's all couched, so no back stitching, all couching, two needles. I got the two needles out. Um, it's 12 days of Christmas. I got all the way down to the last couching on the last week. I'm done. I can't touch it. I can't make myself touch it. Mm. And I don't know why. I worked on it forever. Anyway, we were at the pool, and I was so jealous of her project. And like I said, I haven't cross-stitched at all. And I was like, well, I need a project. If you're going to sit here and just cross stitch the whole time, I need something. And so I just went on one, two, three stitch and I ordered myself a project willy nilly. And this was it. It's so pretty. It's the modern folk, folk, modern folk embroidery. It's the mystery cell of 2018. And it's a primitive Quaker. I was like, I can do that. It's primitive, <laughs> right? That means not complicated. Easy, easy. Let me, let me show you how far I got. I didn't even know what, like, one over two and all that was. I just bought the kit and was like, move on. I'm doing it. And so I was doing everything one. Oh, that's how far I got. That was it. That There's still, there's still a line where I had my work. And I think I did that for about 15 minutes. And I instantly quit. And said, see you never. <laughs> Bye. I remember being like, I <laughs> Elizabeth must have been like <laughs> Do you want that? Do you are you really done with it? Could I just I was like, you know what? This this is way too hard. I ugh, moving on. Anyways, next project. <laughs> Anyways, when I started cross stitching again, she was still working on her Christmas <laughs> thing. And I got through a couple projects, and she reminded me that I had this pattern. I, I tried to take it. <laughs> I, you're being so nice. I was like... <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I think we're going to do... I don't know how the cell went originally, but we're going to start with spring. On the first day of spring. Yes, which is in six days. We were... We remember from preschool, because we do preschool. And they have together. to count down the number of days till spring every day till the next season. Yes. It's one of the ways they learn counting. So we are going to do our own sal, and I'm thinking we're just probably going to cut it into quarters. quarters. Yeah. And yeah. then just do it throughout the year, do our own little sal. If anyone wants to do a sal with us, we are starting, maybe I'll start a hashtag. Hashtag... Ooh. Like I'm memory. sure there's already a hashtag. For, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll find the hashtag. It will be on there. But I'm so excited about this pattern too because it's one of the ones you can tell where you look at it and it's beautiful. But I know that I'm not going to see all the details in it until I start stitching it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to be so deep in the weeds on this one um, in order to find all of the little magic parts. Yes. And I think it's going to be really exciting. And I found all the thread and all the stuff from the original project. I think I'm going to keep my original stitching yeah. in there. I'm not going to take it out because when I get to it, I want to laugh about how bad I was the first time. I want to maybe even make a little circle around it. I love it. A little frame. Mm-hmm. Be like, one year later. Little detail. <laughs> no, it's a heck of a first pattern to do. I know. That was... I, well, you know how I like to jump into things. I mean, I, you know, there's no point in stitching something that you don't love. Yes. Um, um, let's see, what else do we want to talk about? I did get, I think we both got... Oh, the fabric, yeah. Yes, we both got Cryptic Cloth. Here's mine. Well, I can't open it. I wonder, I'm going to grab mine and see if they look the same. Yes, let's check it out. So I got Cryptic Cloth. 
vampire kisses and 16 count we are going to do the um the mystery sal from what is her name oh. it's like fabulous plants covered in eyeballs yeah wonderful. she does the plants with the eyeballs and she's doing that sal you know what we'll just have to put in a picture we'll put it It's not out yet, but it's starting soon. And that's actually, oh, look, they are kind of different. Look at that. That's going to be really fun. So fun. Oh, I love working on what on did you get? I got 16 as well. Um, I figured we'd want to like, keep, them, keep them similar, but I love how... Well, I like your modeling. Mine is so much more... I like yours. Yeah, your modeling mm. is good. Mine's a little bit more blended. Yeah, it is. A little softer. That's Very so cool. cool. Anyway, so we're going to be doing that cell. And we will remember her name in later. But yeah, if you want to do that cell with us, we are definitely doing that one. Because I love her artwork. Oh, this mystery lady that I can't remember. <laughs> it's so creepy and cool. Like, I, don't you hate that when I can see see it in my mind's eye? I know, me too. But, um, but yeah, we're going to be doing her cell. And that starts soon, I think. we got to check the dates on that because I still have to get my thread for that. I think they've, yeah, they, they've put out the thread list. Um, and we, you've been to, there's a, there's a cross stitch store near where we live. I didn't yes. know about that. I've been cross stitching for so long. Um, I cheated on cross stitch with knitting for many years. So I know all the yarn stores, but it's yes. pretty wonderful. It's isn't in it? Issaquah. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'll remember the name. We should go. Someday. And then I can go get my materials for the, the four seasons. Yes. Yeah. I know. I can't wait to see what color you're going to do. Purple. You're doing purple. I like the one in purple. Yeah. I'm thinking about trying dyeing with this. With the fabric? Yeah. Ooh. Maybe uh, just a basic one. You've maybe got tea. You've got like no time. I know. Because we got to start it in six days. Oh, yeah, because I have to dry it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do it with the threads in it. Who knows? You never know what's going to grab me. Um, is there anything else that we want to talk about? Oh, I do. I do. Um, speaking of, okay, I wanted to talk about this during, when I was talking about this, I wanted to talk about how amazing, um, the Ever Tote YouTube channel is. It is so good. If you're not watching them, you should be watching them. I found them through watching Cardamon Pin. Cardamon Pin is the most amazing stitcher. She is so talented and I so love talented. how... She just ran with these patterns, and I watched all of her videos. I was absolutely obsessed, and she was obsessed with Evertote, which made me obsessed with Evertote, and I just put in a big order at Evertote because I was, I, I couldn't stop looking at all of their beautiful patterns, and I've had so much fun watching their channels. Everyone should be watching their channels. Um, also, who else have we been watching? Oh, all those girls like Cam the Stitcher, love her stuff, love watching all of her projects. She makes me feel so okay Oh yeah. with buying more projects. That's, and that is so important to me. That's been, <laughs> that's been a, such a big change for me since I started um, stitching with you. Because I had always been a very monogamous stitcher. Like one at a time, one pattern with lots of guilt. Which is probably how I would like describe the way that I did this. It's been so nice. Um, yes. so nice to be doing more things and in so many different styles too I know. because it's so different like doing a full coverage or something like the cranberry and pines there's such a different feeling for those such a different feeling and it's it's so nice to be able to switch a little bit before you I get know, sick of something burning out yeah yeah burning out i've had i mean we've done so many i mean even just i mean we did watercolor classes we've I mean, oh, we Hula, do you remember the Hula classes? We did Hula, Hula classes, classes, and, like, you get so involved, and then you burn out, and there's nowhere to go, where I've had so much fun with this, and being able to switch styles, patterns, artists, color palettes, everything within the same genre, it just really keeps those brain bubbles fizzing, and it's so fun, and I've been just loving watching everyone else's stitching, too. I love watching all the different approaches people take to it. Um, like seeing how some people will do, um, like a really extreme cross country, other people are parking, some combination of the two, all the different ways everybody organizes their materials. Oh, so fun. So fun. It's so fun. I think 
when we got back from Brighton Bush, um, my husband came out into the living room and it was like a craft explosion because I was like, <laughs> everything <laughs> will be reorganized. That this is what is this is our life now. Yes, this, this is our is life. This is my life now. <laughs> um, and I've been in, I think really enjoying that. I really love um, Giselle. Oh, oh yes, and yes, the way she tracks. Too. The way she tracks is so cool. And I like how she hangs all of her flosses. I like watching So she can her. just reach over and grab. I know. It's so cool. It's so nice. She's I mean, so cool. She's so cool. They're also, you guys are all so cool. We want to be in your club. Can we be in your club? Anyways. Um, yeah, with Cam Stitcher, also with all those girls, Seattle Stitcher, love Seattle Stitcher, love Frizzy Lizzie. Who else is in that little, New Hampshire Stitcher. She is very talented as well. Anyways, I love everyone, and I love watching all your videos, and we made a video. I don't know. Hi. Anyways, this is our first floss tube. Um, we hang out every Wednesday. I don't know if we're going to film every Wednesday. Maybe we will. Maybe it'll be every other Wednesday. Yeah. We'll kind of see how it goes and what we have to show. We've got kids, too, and they're little. Um, Caroline has two in like a reasonable size family. Mm -hmm. I have six. Yes. And the not reasonably sized family. Um, too many kids, not enough cats. <laughs> yeah, I have my cat kid balance better now. You know, I think that just means I need five more cats. Yes, probably. Yeah. Justin <laughs> doesn't agree. No. So. Well, you never know. Um, I think that's it though. Yeah. Anyways. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, we appreciate you. Bye.